Hey dude, by any chance do you hear if I'm one of the all-star replacements? Well, I'm looking at the list of names, and since I don't know yours, you technically could be. Are you, uh, Jeff Skinner? I, I could be Jeff Skinner. Yeah, you're exactly like Jeff Skinner, just with none of the talent. <laughs> I'm like an inch or two taller. Right now, some of you are probably looking at your schedule going, hey, where'd all the hockey go? Well, a person who lives under a rock, that's because it's the All-Star break. But I know I talked about the All-Star game last week, but the All-Star game's happening this week, so I should talk about it this week. But if you want to see what I talked about last week regarding this week, we'll watch it after what I say this week regarding this week, because last week is still relevant to this week. Just watch both videos, okay? Because obviously a little bit of time has changed the All-Star roster completely. Bunch of guys that were voted onto the team not able to go, and it's really unfortunate. However, these circumstances allow someone else to take their spot in the All-Star Game. And somebody who's getting that opportunity, a historic opportunity I should add, is Jeff Skinner, who now, as a rookie, is the youngest All-Star of all time. And I just love the story of Skinner, or skin Rar, as I'm starting to hear people call him, because we get into the whole, oh, is size gonna be a problem debate again. Before the draft this past June, I asked an unnamed Ontario League player what he thought of Jeff Skinner. He said if Jeff Skinner was six foot two, obviously he'd be picked in the top 10. It'd be a no brainer. I mean, he didn't score 50 goals by accident, although that'd be amazing. But despite all those numbers he got in junior, still hearing, oh, he's gonna be a late first rounder. Some people didn't think he'd be picked in the first round at all. And even after he was picked seventh overall, people were still doubting him. People going off seven, that's kind of high. And I talked to him about a bunch of that stuff at the Canadian World Junior Development Camp in St. John's, Newfoundland, which I'm sure I could show you right about here. Yeah, just here, yeah, yeah. So he comes in, as a rookie, ridiculous hands. And not only is he keeping up with the big boys, he's excelling. Second among rookies with 18 goals, first among rookies with 40 points. And all of a sudden, this guy who's too small looks like rookie of the year material. And again, proving the whole too small thing wrong. Just like that other guy, uh, what's his name? Top five in scoring, second in assists. Oh yeah, fellow all-star Martin St. Louis. Also too small, just way too small. Too small to play on a line with fellow all-star and leading scorer Steven Stamkos. Just way too small. So I guess maybe my question is, what is it with this whole too small? small thing with hockey players because I'm using a whole bunch of positive examples Jeff Skinner Martin St. Louis these guys are succeeding but the reality is a lot of smaller players do struggle so I guess that makes it more of a matter of how you use the size right really confusing and that's why the scouts get paid the big bucks looking at some of his highlights from this year can't wait to see what Skinner does in the all-star game and Stamkos and St. Louis and everyone else rookies also needing replacements in the all-star game P.K. Subban steps in no stranger to wowing people in all-star competitions remember that movie did for the all-star competition in the minors? Yeah. Those competitions just get crazier every year. You know what? Five bucks to the first player who can juggle and then score a goal. Canadian. So what are you guys expecting out of the All-Stars this year? And Jeff Skinner, Rookie of the Year so far? There's so many other talented rookies, but he's making an awfully good argument. Doing so well that some people are trying to steal his name. Dude, I told you my real name is...